Hello everyone, this is AB Creative. I hope you're all well. Now, first of all, I would like to thank everyone who's been supporting my channel and watching my videos. We've just hit 20,000 subscribers. Uh, thank you so much. Well, I hope you enjoy today's video as well. Hello everyone, this is AB Creative. How are you today? Now, I really missed painting with my chains. So in today's episode, I'm going to paint a flower using my uh, steel ball chains. These are the chains. Got quite a few. We are going to use these colors by Arteza. I'm going to use ultramarine blue mixed with Mars black and then I'm going to use lemon yellow by Arteza and medium yellow uh, Dele Rowney. I'm also going to use some metallics because I really like the Arteza metallics. Pearl lilac royal purple and pearl white. I'm also going to use pale green, pale green and pearl turquoise for my leaves. I am using this canvas today. It's 25 centimeters by 20 which is probably 10, 8 inches. I've already painted the background because I changed my mind. There was a different color so I'm just going to pour over it. If you want to watch me mixing the paint in detail, there's a video over here, you can see the whole process. However, I'm going to tell you very briefly how I mix my paints. So I, instead of just water, I add water and PVA glue, 50-50. I've just received a new batch of glue, that's the glue I use. I also like another glue that I don't have at the moment, but I'm going to show you a picture. This is called Lineco. This is very good as well. Both of them are archival. They're book binding glues. Uh, they've got really, really good properties. They stretch well. They are transparent when they dry. Well, I think they are excellent. Maybe they are not the cheapest, like not the cheapest PVA, but I really, really, really like them. Then I add my paint and I would say one third of paint to two thirds of my pouring medium. Uh, then I add a dash of Floetrol, perhaps 10%. And if it's still too thick, then I'll just spray some water. When it's really well mixed, it should run down really smoothly. My strange selection of various uh, cups. These are lids from cosmetic products, deodorants, uh, yogurt jars, all kinds of strange things that I collect and reuse constantly. When you work with chains, it's good to have a container with water. So once you use the chain, you can drop it here so then the little balls don't get clogged. It's also good to have a pipette. So I've got two old ones that I reuse again constantly. Putting these down so that my painting is a bit higher in case the paint drips. Even though I'm not expecting any dripping with this technique, there's absolutely no need. And I don't like any dripping anyway. So, ready for the background. Because this is going to be like really dark, dark blue. Oops. Spread it on my palette knife. This blue, once it's dry, should be much darker. With the chain technique, there's absolutely no need to use too much paint. So I'm spreading it thinly but evenly. It's more important to cover the edges than the middle because there will be some other paint in the middle in a minute. I've changed my mind. Since I didn't drip anything, I'm going to put the painting straight away on this uh, plastic board because it will be easier for me to turn later on I don't want it to fall down just putting these away it will be much easier to maneuver you'll see in a minute what I mean once I start adding the petals so I'm going to start with white I'm going to fill the pipette white paint and I'm going to outline the first petal just so that you know I haven't done it before so I'm absolutely improvising as probably usual in my case. Okay. Maybe I'll add the side ones as well. Slightly different. Less regular. Okay. Time for the lilac color. I don't think it matters how I put it, whether they are dots or lines. I want the edges lighter and the inside darker. Putting a bit of deep purple here. 
so my iris is not going to be the darkest one because I actually wanted to see that white metallic on the outside and a little bit of yellow I'm not sure how that will work but there definitely should be some yellow okay let's start with the first one and see how that goes okay I'm going to turn it now turn it together with this with this board because it'll be easier for me to pull from the other side that's it much more comfortable upside down okay my first chain now if you want to have wispy edges you put the chain outside of the color um, I'm not sure if I want wispy edges I'll just I'll just put it straight on white okay time to pull My other pipette is ready to take the excess of paint. A tiny bit of yellow here, which is good because I don't want too much. Wobbly chain, come on. Oh, I think I forgot the yellow. Okay, so I have to put it now down with one hand. Okay. Definitely too much paint this time. It doesn't matter because I still have the upper petals to go, so they should cover the area. Even if this looks nasty at the moment. Oh, by the way, I'm hoping to get this. Um, there are two types of iris. I mean, there are many types. But I am planning to do the one that's sort of slightly bigger with thicker petals something like this one not those uh, smaller ones with the very very distinctive yellow sections but something like that I wonder how many they have they probably have going here just like that maybe one will be slightly irregular now I'm thinking, the upper ones, they probably don't have the yellow sections, so that will be easier. I think they don't. <laughs> I don't want to use too much paint, because I don't really want this big puddle. So maybe there's just like a small, small bit of yellow here. This might be a bit tricky, because I really don't want to spoil the bottom one. I've ordered some smaller chains, because for smaller paintings, be much better to have a tiny chain. I think I'm going to do the smaller one first because I want the bigger one to be really pretty. Oh, those chains can be really fiddly. I think that one looks all right. Please don't look at my dirty fingers. It's awful. Okay. Ah. Oh. So wobbly. Maybe I'll make this one a bit wispy. So I'm putting the chain on the edges. Now the colours of this the stem is actually pretty unusual on, on the iris. It's very straight, sort of really pointy long leaves. So I'm just thinking how to do it best. Um, I think this green is definitely too bright, but I'm going to mix Maybe the green with turquoise. Just thinking where to put the stem. Hmm. I think somewhere hidden behind this petal. Okay. And I'm going to add the other, the other green. It's actually turquoise, not green. So if I put it on next to it, that should give me some. Interesting color combination. Okay, I think that's better um, to make them. Perhaps I'll make one little bud here. So this is going to be like a really small closed bud. How am I going to put the chain on it? Hmm. 
It's quite tricky, it's really, really small. Or maybe I'll just spread it like this. Just like that. That will do. So now I'm going to put the same green back around the little little bud. And then the other green. Also some little tiny, I don't know, they are not leaves, they're just tiny growths on the stem. Something like that perhaps. Not happy with this with this part. I need something else here. Well now I'm quite worried how to make the leaf. Should I actually make a leaf? I think it would be nice to have one here. But I really don't want to spoil that. Mm. Let's see. So this time I'm going to start from the bottom because I want the leaf to be thicker at the bottom. Okay, whoops, maybe I should just leave it that small. Let me wipe, wipe the chain and add the other color. Hmm, what do you think? Just adding a tiny bit of, well, on the edge of the leaf perhaps there. Final touches, I think that actually this part is for another bud. So, so I'm going to add just a tiny bit of purple. I'll start with the dark one, not as big as the other one, and the lighter. And that's it, just an indication. Well, I think I'm done. So, time for a close up. Still very wet. So, this is the main flower petals nice colors i'm quite happy with the yellow and you can see the the leaf i was trying to get there and two little buds time for my signature now oh this actually is something that i've never mentioned before i don't know why so if you watch one of my videos and you really like the painting and you would like to own it just please email me there's uh, my email in the description or you can also message me on instagram or if it's not available I would be very happy to make one for you. These were my two varnish options. I had glossy varnish and satin varnish by PBO. And I thought the flower would look better actually with the satin finish. So I've just sprayed one layer of satin varnish. It's still a bit tacky, but you can, you can see. I just wanted to thank you all again. If you would like to help support my channel more, you can use my affiliate link. In the description I receive a very small commission from them and it helps me run the channel and make more videos for you all. Thank you and see you soon!